I'm Amber Rogers, and welcome to the fifth annual Brevard Walk of Fame, honoring the most prominent and influential celebrities and community leaders in Central Florida for their outstanding contributions to our community. We're here with Stockton Witten. He's a 2015 honoree, and uh, we just want to get to know you a little bit better this evening. Thank you, thank you. So tell me, uh, how do you feel about being selected as a 2015 honoree? Well, I'm, I'm a little nervous, I'm a little humbled. Um, I'm a lot humbled by the uh, experience there. You know, it's kind of like being a movie star. I wish I looked like Denzel and had the body of Will Smith, but you know, you get me, so. But, but it's a great, great honor, and I'm really, really humbled by the, uh, the honor. Well, you're quite the successful man, uh, and what would you tell me has been the key to your success? Well, I think I think several several keys. It's it's working hard. It's uh, having more friends than you have enemies. It's uh, never walking into the room and thinking you're the smartest person in the room. Well, those are important keys. Yeah. Why do you think it's important to be involved with an organization like Eckerd? Well, I think Eckerd does great things in the community for kids and families. And the only way to build the village is we all have to be involved. And so Ecker and other organizations are doing great things with kids and families. And so if you have, you must give. And so therefore, you know, it's a great honor to be involved with Ecker and, to, and the other community-based organizations. So you seem like you're a community-oriented man. Absolutely. Why do you feel that it's important to give to your community? Well, and I think that the only way we can build community is, a, is having a diversity of opinions and a diversity of skills. And so you can't sit back and wait for others to contribute to give, there you have to get out there and do. And so I feel it's important to do that. Yes, getting out there and doing is the key to success in our community. So Absolutely. You're, you're, you're right on there. Absolutely. Well, we're honored to have you here. And uh, other than honoring you, you're here to have a good time. So what, what are you most looking forward to this evening? Um, you know what, I'm, I'm hoping I don't stumble when I walk out on the stage, but just just building relationships and, and getting to know people better, um, great honor for me. We're here with Virginia Hamilton with K-9 Commandos, and she's a 2015 finalist for the Children's Year of the Year. You've done a lot of great work in the community. How does it feel being selected as a finalist? feels wonderful. It's great that the commandos finally get some good, good recognition. It's, uh, the kids are all excited too, Three, all 325 of them. Well, you've done great work in the community. Thank and you. Now's the time for us to let you know that your work has really been paying off and really been making a difference in the community. Yes. Uh, you've been very successful in what you've been doing mm -hmm. and uh, growing your program. What would you say is the key to your success? team collaboration. If it wasn't for all the teachers that, that uh, have the same beliefs that I do, the love of kids and the love of animals and bringing the two together so that they can make changes in our shelters, um, this, it wouldn't be possible. So I have 20 schools, 325 students that are now canine commandos and uh, all the, we've, we've got all the shelters in the county now on board. So yes, yes, it's That's wonderful. That's a lot. Of it is. It is, that and we have lot. gifted all the way to at-risk students now, so um, it's, it's wonderful. I'm proud of it. Well, I see that you're involved with your own organization, but why, why would you think it's important to support an organization like Eckerd? Everybody should be involved with children, whether it's teachers or people in the community. You know, we have all types of children, children in need. Um, these, you know, the way I look at it, these are our children, our kids for the future, and we need to provide and help them along the way because, um, you know, in my golden years, I'm relying on them. What kind of advice would you give to the people sitting at home right now? How can they get involved in the community? Well, what I tell my students is that, you know, even though we're involved with shelters and the animals, there are so many different things in the, in the community that need help. Find something that you're passionate about, like I did, and then just jump in and start doing it. The rewards are just unbelievable. Why don't you tell me a little bit about why you think it's important to support an organization like Ever who gives children second chances? Well, I think when, anytime you can get involved in charity work, um, I think that's just it's the right philanthropic thing to do. Um, I know for me, I've been blessed in so many ways that anytime I can give back in any way, I always try. 
um, you know, especially with children. Children are our future. They are the people who are going to be eventually running this country, business, you know, future presidents and everything. And it's like to set a good foundation for them at a young age is only going to help all of us make a better world. I also wanted to know, there's a lot of people at home that would really love to get involved and they just really don't know what to do. Why don't you tell them what they can do to get involved with their community? Well, it's, I think just getting involved with the community is the right thing to do. Um, for me, I'm very blessed to now live here in Brevard County. Um, I actually have uh, permanently now been here for the past four years with my family, my wife and my two lovely kids. And uh, I think it's always good, whatever you can do. I mean, I, I know myself, I, I try to get involved in finding through the Chamber of Commerce what's going on uh, in town. Uh, anytime I can do anything that gives back to the community, I think it's always the right thing to do. Um, recently, I just did a, a wedding crash for somebody who... Yes, uh, I read about that. That uh, was all over the paper. That <laughs> yeah. was very kind of you. And it was, it was on, I was honored, and coincidentally, it was right here in, in Brevard County in Melbourne. Um, I recently judged the clam chowder uh, contest at the port and you know for me it's, a, it's about giving back to the community. I mean I think this is a great place that we all live in. We're very blessed to have a beautiful surroundings here. I think it's a great place to raise kids and I just want to keep it that way. So whatever you can do to give back is, is only going to help us with all that. I'm here with Don Herndon from Classic Wood Forest. He's a 2015 Brevard Walk of Fame honoree and he's a pillar to Brevard County. Tell me, how does it feel to be honored at the Brevard Walk of Fame this year? I'm very humbled and overwhelmed, truthfully. Uh, it was, it's great, great honor. Tell me, what is the key to your success? How, how do you manage to fit all that in? By the grace of God, and that, that is why we're here. Uh, surround ourselves with a great team, a wonderful wife that backs me. She, she keeps me going in, in, the, in the team that we have around us. You have a great wife, Julie. I can attest to that. She's an amazing woman. You know, you have been so supportive of Eckerd for so many years. You've, you've uh, supplied the red carpet. You've donated money monetarily. you spent hours just working with Eckerd. Why do you think it's so important to work with an organization like Eckerd? An organization like Eckerd, uh, wonderful people, a lot of integrity and I see the results that, that we get from supporting a foundation like that, and, and just a wonderful staff. And you know, there's so many people in the community that would love to be involved like you, and they just don't know where to start. Why don't you just tell the people, what can they do to be more involved in your community? Monetary support is always needed. That, that's, that's a good place to start. But your personal time, uh, it, that's really what it's about. Uh, spending your time with the organizations, uh, that's the most valuable asset we have is our time. I'm here with Captain Winston Scott, the 2015 Brevard Walk of Fame honoree, and uh, we're here just to get to know you a little bit more. I'm sure many of you already know who he is. Uh, he's quite the pillar in the community, and being honored tonight, I'm sure, has been really great for you. Tell me how that is. Well, absolutely. It certainly is an honor, a, a pleasure to uh, be honored tonight. You know, I get asked those things and I use words like a pleasure and honor, but really words don't describe the feeling of pride and appreciation that I feel this evening for having been selected as one of the honorees. Tell me what you think is the key to your success. Well, I think the key to success, first of all, is hard work and perseverance on the part of the individual. And I'm very fortunate to have had parents that instilled that into us. Uh, myself and my siblings, but another part of that is support from people in the community. And that's why this event is so important tonight because it talks about how people in the community help other people in the community. So definitely part of the success for anybody is, is supporting others and thereby receiving support in return. Yes, I agree. Supporting others and getting involved and, and supporting people in the community. So tell me, why do you think it's important to support an organization like Eckerd? Well, Eckerd does such wonderful things for people who really need it. You know, the support for uh, families and for children, going out to people who really ha absolutely have a need. And when we do that, what we do is we strengthen our entire community. So by helping those who need it, well, we're really helping ourselves, we're helping our overall community in this. Just, just uh, not enough time and not enough words for me to say everything that I'd like to say about it, but it's so important. What advice do you have if somebody wants to get involved in the community? Or what advice do you give them? Well, I tell you what, there's certainly no shortage of opportunities to get involved with the community. First and foremost, it's Eckerd. You can become an Eckerd volunteer. And I'm sure there's a website that they can log on to and find out all about the Eckerd Foundation. 
and a way to volunteer. But there are many other ways to volunteer in the community. It could be through a church organization, or it could be through the Boys and Girls Clubs, or the YMCA, or the hospital, or medical associations. For people who want to volunteer, just as we say these days, go online, check it out, raise your hand and say, play me coach. I'm here with 2015 Preferred Walk of Fame honoree Mike Shaw. And tonight, we honored you for all the great work you do in the community, and you've just had pro a profound impact. You know, and you've always given to the community, and tonight, we were giving to you. How does it feel to be a Brevard Walk of Fame honoree? It feels great. Uh, I would say this. There were a lot of past honorees, and today, I'm one of them, and to be a one of the honorary and put myself with the great people who have passed honorary, it's huge, it's huge. I'm very humbled and honored to be a one of the honorary of the Bravar Walk of Fame. I feel great. Tell me, what is it that you think is so important to support an organization like Eckert? It's all about the kids. To me, at the end of the day, there are kids. It's not their fault where they are born or where they come from. They all need the equal opportunity. They all need the second chance. And we all need to do that. And that's what the Eckerd Foundation's Eckerd does it. And I feel like a, we are investing pennies. I'm a businessman. It's all about investing pennies and get the return in the dollars. I mean, if we can do that, and then these kids are going to be the leaders of tomorrow. We need to take care of our kids. This is the greatest nation on the earth. And if we want to keep this nation's greatest nation on the earth, then we need to do more for our children. And the only way we can do that is supporting like an organization, like an Eckerd. And they are going to get involved and they can take care of our kids. So I would love to get involved more. I have found out about this organization some time back and I would get a lot more involved in this organization. It gives you a lot more satisfaction what you when you help somebody and you see somebody succeed and that's what it's all about thank you i'm here with lois mclean a children's here of the year finalist for 2015. you know tonight we honored some amazing people having everyone in the room and recognizing them for the hard work that you do and you know you've done so much how was it for once being in the seat where you're actually being recognized for the work that you do? Um, scary. <laughs> no, it was quite an honor just to be here with all of these people and to be included in such an awesome event. I've got an awesome committee with about 50 members on it. We also team up with the Hilton Cocoa Beach Oceanfront, Deborah Green and her Blue Energy team. We've got a lot, of, a lot of support. You learn how to delegate, you learn how to ask for help because obviously you can't do everything. But just the, the support from not only the realtor commu community, 3,000 realtors strong, but also the community in general as more and more people find out who Brevard Children in Need is. And um, just getting the word out in the community that we've got 1,600 plus homeless children and this is what we need from the community to help us to come to an end of all of it. You know, Eckerd, they're really about giving children a second chance. You know, we've all been through some tough times. Has there ever been a time in your life where someone has given you a second chance? I don't think that there's any background where anybody can say that, no, I haven't been given a second chance. I think all of us have at one point or another in our lives. I think that where all of this comes from me is just knowing that these are kids and they need help because if they don't get help now then it's not going to get any better for them in the future and they need to know that there is people out there that care about them and you don't want to discount them and you want to make them feel included. I'm here with 
Grace McBride, winner of the 2015 Children's Hero of the Year. You've done so much work in the community, your organization, and I know you spent so many hours behind the scenes. How does it finally feel to be highlighted yourself for the work that you've done? Exciting because I've never really won something really big. I noticed when you were up there giving your speech, you were very surprised. Did you, did you not expect to win? I didn't expect to win at all. That's what made it so special. You guys look so adorable. And, and in addition to that, you guys have put so much work into it. And sometimes it's the people that don't spend as much time putting their work into it that actually end up winning. What would you say is the key to your success? Um, my family supports me on this. So. Like, and then my friends know about it, even and they all think I'm doing good. And like, like that. Well, we appreciate all the work you've done here. You've been quite an inspiration to everybody. Do you, now, do you go to school? Yes, I do go to school, Ralph Williams Elementary. How has it been uh, for you to be able to go to school and then also be involved with King Grace? Uh, good, actually cool. Because my friends, all my friends know about it. They support me on doing this. And some, and some of my, I've even brought one of my friends from school with me. Yeah, because like, they all know about it. It's fun because I have my friends from school helping me and like so that I can have fun with them and do this at the same time. So it's fun. Now, if there are other other girls, say maybe your age, friends of yours that would like to get involved, what advice would you give to them? How to get involved in the community? Start helping out other people and then do what basically I did. <laughs> get your mom to help you. Yeah, that's that's always important. I'm here with Dana Kilborn, 2015 Brevard Walk of Fame honoree. Hi Dana, how are Hi, you? Hi, I'm well, Amber, how are you? Good. Well tonight we honored you for all the great work that you do in the community. You've just done a tremendous amount of stuff. How does it feel to be honored tonight at the Brevard Walk of Fame? Well, it feels great. Uh, we, uh, my family and I are um, honored to live here and to give back. And um, saw a lot of people I knew and it was great to share the night with them. Well, we appreciate you coming and supporting an organization like Eckerd. Why do you think it's important to support organizations like Eckerd? Well, the, um, I think the work that they do with give, essentially giving family second chances is, um, is vital to the community. I think the most important job that any of us can do is to raise our children and help provide vehicles in the community for other people to help raise their children as well. It certainly takes a village, and um, so we're happy to support it. We had an excellent time at the Brevard Walk of Fame. We raised a tremendous amount of money for a very great cause, helping children of Brevard County. If you want to get involved, visit ecker.org and come visit us again next year at the Brevard Walk of Fame.